What if you could exchange money anywhere in the world without the hassle of finding a currency exchange or ATM? The future of money could be just like that with central bank digital currencies or CBDCs. Hi, I'm Rashan Gidwani. Welcome back to another episode of Finance Zen. On this episode, we'll explore what CBDCs are, different types of CBDCs, and global approaches to CBDCs. What are CBDCs? Central bank digital currencies are digital versions of traditional fiat currencies that are issued and backed by central banks. They are designed to operate similarly to regular money, but are stored on a digital ledger instead of physical banknotes and coins. Types of CBDCs. Not all central bank digital currencies are created equal. Depending on their design features and intended use cases, CBDCs can be classified into several types. Retail CBDCs are digital currencies that individuals and businesses can use for everyday transactions, such as buying goods, paying bills, and transferring money. They are designed to be easy to use and accessible with features like mobile payments and instant settlement. Wholesale CBDCs are digital currencies that financial institutions use for large value transactions like interbank payments and security settlements. They are designed to be faster and more efficient than existing payment systems, which can lower costs and improve liquidity. Hybrid CBDCs have features of both retail and wholesale CBDCs. They are designed to be flexible and scalable to meet different needs, from small payments to large institutional transfers. Global Approaches to CBDCs Central bank digital currencies are gaining traction worldwide. 114 countries, which make up over 95% of the global GDP, are currently exploring the potential of CBDCs. Let's take a closer look at some of the different approaches to CBDCs. China is one of the most advanced countries in terms of developing and implementing a CBDC. The digital yuan is designed to function as a retail CBDC with the aim of replacing physical cash, but not bank deposits or private payment platforms. The Central Bank of the Bahamas has already launched a retail CBDC aimed at improving financial inclusion and promoting financial access to underbanked communities. The Monetary Authority of Singapore, or MAS, has recently launched UBIN, an initiative aimed at advancing cross-border connectivity in wholesale CBDCs. While CBDCs have the potential to offer many benefits, there are also potential drawbacks to consider. Stay tuned for our next episode, where we'll explore the pros and cons of CBDCs. Till next time, stay zen. Ciao.